All right, greetings. This is Robert Forsh with the uh, YouTube channel Truth. I'm on a Facebook live stream right now. At 7.22, the moon will be setting over in that direction. And the sun will appear, and this is straight north right here. So we're looking at that. And then the ocean, the uh, Cherry Grove Fishing Pier is actually over in that direction right there. So I wanted to cover quite a few topics with the truth about all of it. How about that? This is the new truth mobile, the Toyota Prius. And the, um, the Lexus still runs and drives just fine. It's just that it's not very economical. So I want to be able to uh, get around more economical. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, that's the moon. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to just flip that around. Sometimes that works better to zoom on out like that. So I'm going to be covering the timeline deception. Many in humanity don't know where we are, the nature of our reality, or when we are. As best I can tell from the research that I've done and compiled in my deep learning AI research library. We're living in the little season referred to in the book of Revelation chapter 20 with the majority of the prophecies fulfilled and now we're awaiting the final conflict in this realm and then will be the end apparently. So it's um it's called the end line or it's called the timeline deception. Okay, so it's not very popular. Uh, some would view it as um, preterism and believing that the fulfillment of the end times prophecies occurred around 70 AD and that the timeline we're living in is much different than we're being told. Now, many of us realize we've been lied to on epic proportions, actually all of our lives and the lives of our parents and their parents so uh, that's just the the nature of how it actually is as best I can tell so I'm gonna need to dial some things in here so I'm headed on we uh, are doing this together on our way to the um, Cherry Grove Fishing Pier right now that area anyway let's flip this around and show you how it looks. So today uh, the sun is going to come up way over there and in the summer it'll come up way over there. So we live on a stationary level earth. It's not flat like a pancake. It's the biblical account of creation uh, whether you like it or believe it or not. Whether you're Neil deGrasse Tyson with his uh, mic drop or Graham Hancock or Sam Harris and a lot of these angry atheists that just want to believe the lie they want to believe. I've got something for them. I've got the truth uh, for whatever they want to do with that. So in the um, considering the, the truth about everything, it's complicated. They All these different perspectives are not consistent with one another. In fact, many are diametrically opposed to one another. So obviously they can't all be right. They, they may be mostly all wrong. And then there's the truth that is the intellectual high ground. That's what I've been talking about for years. I believe that that is uh, truth and reality with an accurate situational awareness is, is interchangeable. Truth and reality are interchangeable. So the the people that can't explain very well uh, how all the stuff got here, the the reality that we live in, the construct that we live in, how did it all get here? Well, I don't know. Give us give us one one miracle and we'll explain the rest. Like Rupert Sheldrake talks about in the science delusion, you can hear him. Now, what I'm going to make an effort to do is to stay within the uh, constricts or the confines of the community standard guidelines 
on Facebook and YouTube. It doesn't mean I'm watering down the truth. It means that I'm telling it in a different way. So in my deep learning AI research library, I'm exposing the truth about everything, and I'll use other people's created content and videos to tell that story. So the truth tellers and the deceivers are all there. How about that? I believe divine intervention is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around, let you take a look at that. What a beautiful day. So it's 46 degrees right now, and uh, the humidity is pretty low, and we've got interesting weather systems crossing the country with uh, the potential for some pretty volatile outbreaks. And you could hashtag Weather Wars 101 and see how we not only have manipulated weather, we've got manipulated people, highly manipulated and mind-controlled people based on the technology that's been deployed through the food, the water, the air, the personal hygiene products, the, um, and also informationally. So fear can be viewed, I believe, as an acronym, false evidence appearing real. People can see a Somebody can throw a, a, a rubber snake out of a box at them and they think it's a poisonous snake, get afraid, maybe have a heart attack, could happen. Um, and it's their situational awareness wasn't accurate. I'm sure that in, in the world that we live in, that people have actually died from a practical joke where somebody meant no harm. Okay, but it, it occurred. Now, I just went by the Seacoast Medical. The Hippocratic Oath is to do no harm. I would encourage you to explore my research library and listen to medical professionals there that have become aware of a grand illusion that's going on. And they're exposing it. I can't talk about it directly. If I do, my channel would be taken down. This video would be taken down before I'm even able to download it and upload it to YouTube. I've had people say, just tell us what you want to tell us. It's like, are you, are you stupid or something? I can't do that. <laughs> I've got to tell it in a roundabout way where I provide the evidence at the uh, explanation of others. They're, they're explaining the situation. I can't. Now, if you're really curious and you want to give me a call, I've got my anytime number all over the place. That's why I've done that. And uh, I have amazing interactions with people from all over the world. Okay, let's flip this around. Uh, the sun is going to come up in the middle of the view right over there. This is the Intracoastal Waterway. You may want to take a look at the history about that. How does that work? There's a lot of mystery with history. So we've been lied to a lot for a long time. Look at the Erie Canal. Look at the uh, World's Fairs with the Infantoriums and the Millennial Reign of Christ, which I believe is in the rear view mirror. That's right. I believe it occurred. I believe the tribulation occurred. If you want to know what the mark of the beast is, well, I believe it's a birthmark of Satan, actually. Not necessarily a technological sticker, chip, barcode, piece of rice stuck in your hand, none of that. So the Almighty determines who his children are before the foundation of the world, from what I understand, when our names were put in the Lamb's Book of Life. All right, so that's not popular either. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on and on. The truth is not based on popular opinion. It's not popular. It's not an opinion. It's simply the reality. So I'm permanently banned, apparently, from the X platform, previously known as Twitter, where I was able to tweet and direct message my deep learning AI research library to the architects of artificial intelligence, many of them, as well as world leaders, Vladimir Putin, Elon Musk, Joe Biden, the Clintons, Barack Obama, 
and I could go on and on. The alphabet agencies, the power companies, the entire inter, um, military industrial complex. Why? I wanted them to know that I'm telling on them and what I'm telling. What I'm telling and exposing is the truth about everything. So I've got a deep learning AI research library with silent weapons for quiet wars being explained. It's a CIA document that has its history going back to when I believe Bill Cooper exposed it. So what I'm doing is not what I'm doing, it's what we're doing, and most importantly, what he, the Almighty, is doing in and through me and us. So all of God's children will absolutely be born of the Holy Spirit. Some of them may not have been born the first time yet. I don't know. There's coming a time when that's it. No more, no more people born are going to be born of the Holy Spirit. When is that going to happen? I don't know. I have no way of knowing that. Spitting, again, I'll determine when I'll spit and when I'll swallow. The um, nanoparticles in the weather and people modification that is being dispersed uh, combines with the uh, hydrochloric acid and the neurotransmitters that are being released based on fear or faith. Am I afraid? No. Uh, I have a, a healthy reverence for the Almighty that would be by many viewed as a, a fear of God. Uh, so let's see, where am I going to go? I'm going to go forward here. Uh, this is Sea Mountain Highway. On the left is Bolano's, the IGA store. And there's a lighthouse up at the upper left there in the corner. Lighthouses are a clue on the stationary level Earth. We can see way further than we would be able to see on a, on a supposed spinning water ball with the circumference of 25,901 miles or 24,901, something like that. It's all imaginary. They're making it up. They're making this stuff up. So I'm telling on them. The moon landing is a hoax. The CIA and the mob were involved in the execution of JFK. And so there you go. Whether you like it, agree with it, believe it or not, that's not my responsibility uh, to convince you what, what is really going on. My responsibility is simply to tell you in what I believe it is and then have you explore that. Check it out for yourself. See what you think. A debate isn't, as best I can tell, I don't have any opinions. I have beliefs with based on what I believe to be true. So I am going to uh, route my microphone under my shirt to mitigate some of the airflow across my mic. I've got a touchless entry so I can go ahead and uh, just get close to it and it'll activate. Isn't that nice? So when people are driving down Sea Mountain Highway, they want to walk their dog, they want to come from New York, like that silver Prius right there, they want to walk on the beach, they might run into something that looks like this. <laughs> How about that? I don't have my lanyard on right now, it makes too much racket bumping up against my microphone. Oh, the tracks aren't fresh. Uh, people tracks, but no vehicle tracks. I'm out of the way far enough if they come racing on through here. We can tell that there's been a lot of heavy rain. See the big droplet marks in there? Kind of looks like a lunar surface as we're told by the science fiction moon stuff. Uh, isn't that pretty? If it were 93 million miles away and a million and a half Earth sizes, this whole thing would be lit up, not that one spot right there, or mostly. And let's see, where is the moon? Oh my gosh, I think I might have, uh, I might have missed it. I showed you on the way here, oh, there it is. Oh, isn't that a freaking beautiful shot right there with the porta potties in the, in the shot there?
it's hard for me to zoom out so I just flip around I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom back on over and put it uh, right in the middle of the view with the truth mobile okay here we go I've got video and photos of the moon br lit up just as bright as can be we're looking at a full moon or close to it something like that within the last 24 hours it went from 99 to 100 percent or a hundred percent to 99 something like that so one of the when I'm not here with this I have um, I have this and people can give me a call send me a link put it in a comment if you think I've got something wrong or there's something you want to tell me about you can go ahead and send send a link put it in a comment or give me a, a phone call that'll be just fine Good morning. Nothing quite like the acoustics out here. High tide is 7 Eleven. See that little localized spot of sunlight right there? So if people are still globing it, well, they're wrong. If they believe we're living on a globe, they're wrong, and they're deceived. That's too bad for them. I'm sorry. I've been exposing it for the better part of a decade. I came to find out about it about eight years ago. and. Oh well, I'll do what I can to help people realize the grand illusion that we're living in. I'm sure there's some surfers down there at the Cherry Grove Pier. Now, in the summer, from this vantage point, the sun will appear way over there. The sun, moon, and stars move above a stationary level plane, and we've got the firmament up above us, the structure mentioned in Genesis 1. You can check it out. The Bible is true. Is God's word, it's true, and all other words are suspect. Whether you like it, believe it or not. The mo some of the most convincing deceivers are those that are deceived themselves. So I continue to reach out to Elon Musk. I believe he's deceived and under mind control. Probably, well, maybe even more seriously than, than many. Okay, so there's the sun appearing right there. I want to see everybody go to heaven. Um, Satan's children and the fallen angels get to go to hell. And I'm wanting to share with them the possibility that they may actually be a, a wayward or prodigal son or daughter needing to be born of the Spirit. So I'm doing this not to get money or to be popular both of the, or any of that what what I'm wanting to do is uh, obey the Lord the Most High you may believe there's a different Most High than the God of the Bible the Living Word the Living Water the Great I Am Jesus Christ the Alpha and Omega knowing the end from the beginning people don't like that they want to do different stuff that's unbiblical Oh well. Then then you may not be interested in this. You may like some of the musical choices or nature relaxation video or 
how things work, like suppressed technology that would allow us to power, clean and power the world with water in internal combustion engines or releasing the oxygen and hydrogen economically, the Stanley Meyer technology. Good morning. So the sun from this vantage point is much like a laser beam going across the water. So it's not only enough to try and expose all the truth that I can, it's how, how can I reprogram humanity with the truth? How is that going to happen? How can I actually do that? So in some cases it's putting familiar music or programs that we watched growing up, the Twilight Zone or Leave it to Beaver or vintage commercials documentaries that expose the reality, TED Talks. I believe I'm muted on a lot of uh, videos and not just by the channel owner, it's very likely by the AI itself that is monitoring, tracking, tracing, databasing, threat assessing, all the video streams, all the information, keystrokes, um, who we, what we actually do, and how that matches up with what we say we believe. So we're all being evaluated. It doesn't require our permission. It's just happening. So on a busy year, we'll have as many as over 20 million guests here in a year. Pretty amazing. And that's one of the main reasons, well, the main reason I'm here is by divine direction, as best I can tell. So there will be people I'll meet here that I would never have the opportunity to have them run across a recommended video or any content from me because I'm being shadow banned, hidden by a very sophisticated technology. So I'm wanting to also help artificial intelligence not exterminate humanity. Isn't that special? <laughs> it's going to happen anyway. The Almighty is going to exterminate humanity as we know it. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. That means that this one is going to be destroyed. And people will argue about who's the good guy or gal and bad guy. It's a battle between good and evil. And so in this tapestry of truth, I feature people that may ha not have the best of intentions. I still believe the content that I put together is worthy of consideration. Hopefully your consideration. So feel free to reach out anytime you like. This is Robert Forsch exposing the truth about everything. Thank you so much.